Prepare for liftoff. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another match day simulation. This is one of three matches kicking off at the same time and we have Man City hosting Newcastle. Man City have shown their inconsistencies as to why they haven't kept hold of that title this season. They've had too many inconsistencies. That's three away losses in a row and was a shocking one to put it plainly. Newcastle have come back since Project Restart and looked like a different team and they've been scoring goals that they weren't scoring before then so this is going to be a tough task for Man City but it's at their home ground and I'm going to go with a 2-1 victory for Man City here let's see what FIFA thinks so we're here at the empty head I'm mean, empty head sorry sorry my mistake I mean the stadium is empty but that's not Man City's fault that's Corona's fault my bad my bad anyway we're here for Man City versus Newcastle Man City hoping to respond to what was a bad loss for them against Southampton. I mean, to lose 1-0. Oh! Nearly straight away with the response there. Anyway, um, yeah, so they'll be hoping to make a response against this Newcastle team. But it's not going to be an easy task. Newcastle have looked very decent since coming back. They're scoring a lot of goals. Before the, the break, they were not scoring goals, so... They've done well, they drew in their last match, and they'll be hoping to maybe get a victory here. But most likely, I think Man City is going to just be too much for them, and they're going to get that 2-1 victory. But as we speak, it's Joe Linton breaking away here for Newcastle with Almiron. Almiron had the well taken... Is he going to be onside? Good claim there by Edison. Almiron had the well taken shot there against the draw. And yeah, Newcastle have looked very good. De Bruyne, De Bruyne spreads it here. For Man City, I think they're going to have to spend this this transfer window. There, there's areas that they're lacking. That they need. Defensively, they have not looked capable of winning again. I mean, yes, they're going to be up there top three. But do they have a title winning defense? I don't think so. They've shipped goals that they shouldn't ship. They've lost games that they really shouldn't with poor errors. And they've got players that are coming to a stage in their career where they need to be replaced. Spread here for Sterling, but it's cleared there easily. We have Fernandinho that's 34 years old. So he needs to get replaced and he's going to be difficult to replace because he was a decent player. Silver's leaving. That's creativity that they're losing. Can Bernardo Silva replace David Silva? We'll find out if they don't buy a player. Gale breaking away here. Good ball by Gale to St. Maximum. He's look good. Still a young player as well. Rose here. For Newcastle, are they going to make the Danny Rose loan permanent? We'll find out as well. Good shot. Dwight Gale with the shot, but it was off target. But well worked there by Newcastle, showing what they've been capable of doing and what they've been trying to achieve. Their style of play has looked really good since the break. Since Project Restart. Right now we'd be having a water break in the actual match. Edison to get us going here with this goal kick. He plays it out from the back with Zinchenko. Sterling here. Silva. Sterling. Rodri to Aguero, but Aguero obviously won't be playing, he's injured. De Bruyne. De Bruyne who is the creative king in the Premier League. De Bruyne trying to win the ball back but it's Gale breaking away for Newcastle Almiron back to Gale Gale's got a bit of room to run into and he's got pace to burn can he find Joe Linton or Shelby he goes back 
trying to work something. Almiron, Gale, ball in is cut out by Fernandinho. Shot into Joe Linton. They just couldn't work anything there. Edison gets us going. Fernandinho, Rodri. Rodri spreads it to Zinchenko. Silver's ball cut out and it's a throw in here for Man City on the halfway line. Fernandinho now. Rodri. Cut out again here by this Newcastle team. They're putting good pressure and good interceptions. He spread it here for Rose, but Edison comes out. We know he likes doing that, clearing the ball himself. Saint Maximum to Rose. He heads it to Shelby. Back to Saint Maximum. Couldn't dribble past Walker. Mares. The brain breaking away now. Back to Silva. Silva spreads it here for Sterling. He had to slow his pace a little bit there. But he's nearly by the byline. Can he get the ball back? He goes all the way back to Zinchenko. Rodri. De Bruyne. Rodri. Silva. Zinchenko. Sterling on the ball. Can Sterling get it into the box? It's cleared here. Rodri on the ball. Zinchenko. De Bruyne. Going to Walker, what can they create? The fourth official has indicated not the greatest the play here. Two minutes of any time. De Bruyne trying to dribble past, but it's lost, and Almiron is breaking away for Newcastle. Oh, good dribbling here. Can he create one more chance for this Newcastle team? Can they score before the break? Why? Shelby was on the edge of the box there and he doesn't pick him out. And it's out for Newcastle corner kick here. Way over extra time. Can they make it count? Newcastle have looked the more likely to score today. Shelby to put the ball in. Can he find one of the tall men? Shelby. It's cleared. Almiron. And that's it for the first half, and it has ended Man City 0, Newcastle 0. So we're back here for the second half, where Man City have dominated the possession, 60%. Not really dominate as they could, but it's, it's still a decent amount of possession. I just feel like, even though they've had more possession, Newcastle have worked the better chances. They might have only had one shot, but they were around the box, attacking that Man City defensive line more than... Man City were. Man City weren't really attacking Newcastle as much. They get in these positions and they pass around too much. Nothing really creative. There, like, that's a prime example. They get close to the box. Sterling has the opportunity to cross it, but he doesn't. Like, why not? Why aren't you crossing it, Sterling? Is it the lack of height that they have? Is he thinking Aguero can't do it? And it's punched out there by Dubravka. Shelby. Shelby spreads it here for St. Maximum, but it's cut out. But he manages to win it back. St. Maximum breaking away here from Walker. He cuts it back at Shelby, who did the pass. Good ball here to Rose. No one's in the box, sir. Who's going to pick that out? Edison. Joe Linton needs to be running into the box. He sees Rose on the, the wing position there. Burning his way to the byline. And you're not making a run just to give him an option. You're still on the edge of the box. By the time the ball comes in. You need to be giving him an option to pick out. You need to be running towards goal. Gundogan coming on for Rodri. Zinchenko to get us going. Gundogan, first touch. Silva, looking for options. Yeah, he goes to Sterling. Back to Gundogan. 
Silva. Silva, De Bruyne hits the post from such a tight angle. He manages to get the ball off the post. That's what he can do. He possesses quality to do things like that. Bit of a nothing ball there. And it's back with Man City. Man City now seem to have turned to another gear. Putting the pressure on more. Sterling here in midfield. Aguero. Aguero is obviously injured and wouldn't be playing tonight. Probably Gabriel Jesus. Aguero with the poor ball. Good defensive work there. You thought for a second Joe Linton would be able to snatch that ball away offside. And the save comes anyway from Mares. Zinchenko coming off. Laporte adding that defensive line. Laporte you would think would be starting without him. Man City have looked helpless at times in defense. They never really replaced uh, Vincent Company when he left. So I'm sure they'd have to be in the market for a centre-back pairing. Both Manchester clubs need a centre-back. Aguero. And it's out for a goal kick. Is anyone going to win this match? Bernardo Silva coming on. Hayden coming on. He's looked good for Newcastle. I mean, he's coming off, sorry. Bentaleb's coming on. Do Braf cut to get us going. Lasalle's. Mankilo. Bentaleb. Good ball out wide here for Almiron. Can he get a ball into the box? He can. Shelby! Goal! Newcastle have hit on the counter attack. What a goal. Not really a counter attack. I mean, they've hit from a goal kick. Good work there. That was a good ball from Almiron. He possesses this quality. Just has to produce it a bit more. Good ball here. Yeah. Shelby with the header. That was a well taken header. Right into the corner. Away from the goalkeeper. Edison couldn't make the dive. And Man City are losing again. Could this be two losses in a row? Lord Voldemort. Such an influential player for Liverpool and for Newcastle. As a Man United fan, I dislike him highly. De Bruyne, Silva, Silva, Walker, De Bruyne. Spreads it here for Sterling. Silva on the ball, just couldn't cut it out. Gets cut out, I mean, couldn't carve it out. Silva back on the ball here. Back to other Silva. David Silva. Good cut back here. Bernardo. Couldn't get anything out of it. Almiron. Menkilo breaking away here with Almiron. Menkilo. Almiron on the ball. Foul there. Surely that has to be a foul. Shelby on the ball. Spreads it wider for Rose. Can Rose get the ball in? He can. Laporte to get it cleared. Goes to Sterling. Aguero. De Bruyne. De Bruyne's been quiet. Besides for that shot that hit the crossbar. Or the post. Silva. Flicks it up. Good work here. Silva. Dubrovka with a great save. That's good work though by the little maestro. The Spanish maestro. Flicks it up. Gets it on his stronger left side. Just couldn't force the goal. Rose coming off with... Who's coming on? Richie. Matt Richie? Isn't he a... I thought he's a winger. But anyway. Laporte on the ball. Silva. Bernardo gives it back to De Bruyne. De Bruyne! Good save by Dubrovka. Man City putting the pressure on at the end of the match here. But Dubrovka has been good this season. And he's showing why he's been good. Look at those saves. 
That's two influential game-winning saves over there. And that's why Newcastle are still in the lead. De Bruyne to put the ball in. Surely coming to the closing stages of the match here. Yeah. Not many opportunities. Dubravka again coming and claiming that ball. And it's now Laporte. Gundogan. Aguero. Sterling. Silva. Sterling. Need to create something here. They need to take a shot on. Ball in. Aguero. That's the end of it. Well one there. This is extra, extra time. Offside. Clearly offside. This is very fine to the extra time. And that's it for the match. It has ended Man City 0, Newcastle 1. So this match has ended and according to FIFA it's going to be a shock victory for Newcastle. They have had good form recently but I'm not going to think they're going to get a win out of it at the Etihad. I mean Man City are going to come back here after that loss and they're going to have a point to prove. So I'm still going with the 2-1 victory because I think it's still going to be a hard fought match. If you want to see what happened in the other simulations for the two other matches that kicked off at the same time be sure to go check out my channel. To do that, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and hit bell notification. The likes and comments, you don't really have to do that to see the other content. It just helps me out. But definitely subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get more notifications when those videos are on my channel. So, like, we have one more match coming on later on. So, if you want to check that out, I just told you what to do. So, go ahead and do that. Until later, peace.